Okay, question number twelve. We are going to solve log base two of x plus log base two of x minus seven. This is equal to three. How do we do this? So pay attention to what the operations that's in between. We have two different logs, and then they have the same base. So let's take a look. Um, take a look of what the things that we can do. First property of log we have seen is log base of some. Uh, let me just write it with a capital X. This capital X can be anything, okay? If you have a d uh, addition in between of another log base b, they are the same base of let's say a capital Y. Again, this capital Y just to represent um, anything. It can be an expression, or maybe a little y, or it can be like a five x plus two things like that. So in this situation, we can write this as a single log. B, and then the inside will be just x times y, capital X times capital Y, and that's exactly what's going on right here, and that's what we need. Okay, this is what we need to comp to condense these two logs into one single logarithm. So this is like the um, capital X, and this is like the capital Y. For the first step, applying this uh, property, we get log base two. And let me put a big parentheses first. The first thing that we need is the x, okay, and multiply by x minus seven, so times x minus seven, and that's equal to three. Next, how do we solve a logarithm equa uh, equation of log is log of log base two of something? It's equal to three. This is my second note I'm going to have. So if you see, uh, this situation right here, right? Log b, uh, let me write it as x. It's equal to capital Y. Let me just write it as this. This is the first note. This is the second note. You do the following. You are going to do. Um, so you still have this, right? Log base b x is equal to y. You want to, you want to put. B raised to that power and B raised to that power, then you will get the B and then log base B cancel out. So that's the nice thing about log and uh, power; they are inverse of each other. They cancel each other out. Then we get x. It's equal to B to the y. Okay, so B to the y. Okay, and that's what we are going to apply right here. When we see log of some base of something, it's equal to a number. Then what we're going to do is put two right here, two raised to that power. We're looking at this as a, um, the exponent right now, and then two raised to that as the exponent. This two and the log base two will cancel, and we will get a regular expression x x minus seven x parentheses x minus seven. That's equal to Two to the third power. Okay, and then no more logs. We can just do the usual business. Uh, whenever you see a parentheses and then the x in the front, always try to distribute and then see what happens. X times x is x squared, and then do x times negative seven. We get minus seven x. That's equal to two to the three, which is eight. All right, and then. Um, this is the quadratic equation because we have x to the second power and then x. Um, let's try to make one side equal to zero and then factor the other. I have the eight right here. Let me bring the eight on the left hand side. So I subtract negative. I subtract eight on both sides. That will be zero. And then on the left hand side, I get x squared minus seven x minus eight. It's equal to zero. And factor this out. So to factor this,、uh, let's get ready by putting two parentheses, and that's equal to zero.、Uh, x times x will be x squared, and then what times what will be negative eight, and then the other two negative seven. The correct combination is negative eight plus one, and negative eight times positive one is negative eight, and negative eight plus one is negative seven. Then we are going to set each factor to、uh, zero. So I will say. Set the first factor, which is x minus eight, is equal to zero, or 
The second factor, x plus 1, is equal to 0. For the first one, you just add a on both sides. So we get, oh, this is 0. You get x is equal to positive 8. And right here, subtract 1, subtract 1. You get, this is 0. I get x is equal to negative 1. Are they both correct? No, you have to be really careful. Uh, maybe they are both correct, maybe not. Maybe none of them is correct, or maybe just one of them is correct. You cannot say it. You cannot just circle the answer right away. You must check. You must check the answer. So, let's look at the original equation. Original equation. Always go back to the original equation. Up log base 2, x plus log base 2 x minus 7, that's equal to 3. So what we need to be careful is, and maybe let me put down the third node right here. Uh, yeah, I would write it down right here, another node. So when you have log, but if you're inside, uh, regardless what the base is, when you have log of 0, this is undefined. Okay, you cannot plug in zero into log. And another situation is if you have log, and if the inside happen to be a negative number, this is also undefined. So these are the two things that we have to be careful of. These are the two things that we have to be careful of. Always refer back to the original equation and then plug in the numbers inside. So let me check. Let me do a check for x is equal to eight. So we will get. Uh, log base 2. Now the x becomes 8. And then plus the rest. Plus log base 2. Parentheses. Now the x becomes 8. Minus 7. That's equal to 3. And now I'll write down the check right here for the negative 1. Check x is equal to negative 1. If that will work. I'll write down log base 2. The x is negative 1. So I'll put parentheses and a negative 1. You can actually just stop right here already because as I said right here, log of any negative number is undefined. When you plug in negative 1 into this, x part, uh, into this part of the equation, you get log base 2 of negative 1. That's uh, undefined, so it's pretty much ruined already. But I want to write out everything else just to be complete. Um, x is negative 1, so you can write this negative 1 plus 7 is equal to 3. Even worse, when you plug in negative 1 into the second part right here, negative 1 plus, sorry, negative 1 minus 7 is um, negative 8, log base 2 of negative 8. Again, okay, that, that's undefined, right? So, negative 1 just doesn't work. It doesn't work right here, it doesn't work right here. Now let's check out with um, 8. So what can just do the quick check? A quick check means just you just need to make sure the inside of the logs turn out to be positive. Log base two of eight, eight is positive, so that's good. Eight minus seven is positive one, that's good. So x is equal to eight. It's the only solution. X equal to eight is uh, the only solution to the equation. This is the answer that you need to box. You have to get rid of the negative 1 because negative 1 ruins this part of the equation. And even worse, it ruins this part of the equation as well. So, x equal to 8 is the only solution.